Nigel Cecil, equity as you like it. Hello, Chakabatches. Nigel Cecil here, entertainment entrepreneur, mwah, mwah, uh, responding once again uh, to comments sent in from my equitable friends with questions and observations, uh, asking for my advice. Asking for my advice, and of course, as an entertainment entrepreneur, I I'm pleased to give it. And Hillary, <laughs> thank you, Hillary. Yes, Hillary looks through them all and chooses a topic, don't you, Hillary? A and this particular time, Hillary has focused on comments about negotiation and confrontation. Negotiation and confrontation, because apparently, uh, and I seem to recall this, Hillary, uh, years ago now, Equity used to clearly and demonstrably focus on negotiation when it came to meeting engagers and employers. Friendly equity coming along, trying to find a way through our difficult creative show business environment to negotiate with everybody to get the best deal for our members, taking into account uh, what the other side might think. But now it, it seems to be confrontation first. You know, let's have another campaign. Let's have another protest. Let's defend our rights. You see, now that can be a bit pepper to everybody. He gets up people's nose and makes them sneeze, especially when it seems that equity ha has a rather a, a different approach to different people in a way. Because you see, if you mention Lucy Powell MP being appointed as the shadow deputy to the Department of Culture, Media and Sports, well, equity Twitterati said welcome like this. <laughs> but when it comes, yes, you see, that was nice, wasn't it? Nice welcome. But you see, when it comes to mentioning Nadine Dorries, who's actually the minister in government for the Department of Culture, Media and Sports, uh, the Twitterati go on about, oh, why didn't you meet with us? Why were you partying like this? Now, uh, that was a tweet uh, about Nadine Dorries. Uh, now, is that friendly? Does it make Nadine think, oh, here's equity, I'd love to meet with them. But you see, that's the sort of feeling one really needs to inculcate with the people you're going to negotiate with. Unless, of course, you're just determined to confront them all the time. Uh, uh, and I reckon it's not a good idea on behalf of all equity members to think, well, we're going to confront, we're going to campaign, especially if it appears that the only things you want to confront or campaign against are those that don't fit in with a socialist agenda. You see, in the equity membership, 47,000, there's all sorts of views, all sorts of views about everything. So negotiation always works coming first. And that involves when uh, consulting or dealing, uh, dear equity counsel, <laughs> did I say that? that right, Hillary? Yes, when dealing with equity members, because as the council are only elected by some 4%, it, it follows that they don't really represent all members' views unless they reach out to them, unless they reach out. But if in reaching out, it's all confrontational, confrontational, we don't like your view, so it must be wrong, that that in itself is not very encouraging for the members who wish to take part be you in Scotland, uh, the north of England, Ireland, Wales, uh, the south, or, or anywhere, because equity does seem to focus on London. It's London-centric and London's agenda. But that's another topic, isn't it? You see, but when will you come about negotiation? Nigel always likes to finish in a happy way. Yes, indeed. Uh, you have to say that if you think of negotiation there's always common ground. I mean, my good friend has a pet dog. And another person I know has a very good pet dog as well, as you see. So common ground. Let's meet each other. 
So Nigel is going to finish by saying woof woof from Stanley and woof woof uh, from Trixie <laughs> and let's negotiate together. Thank you everybody. Let's negotiate and move forward together. Uh, 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 and as many on council would say, the Equity Council in a comradely way. <laughs> woof woof. Nigel Cecil, equity as you like it.